You've lost touch with him, Sean. I was 17 once, too. And you were taking pre-med classes during your summer breaks. You can't relate to what he's going through like I can. That's right. Because unlike you, I haven't slept with a transsexual. Matt loves you, Christian. But unless he needs advice on how to get anal sex on the first date, I'm the one he counts on. What are you doing prescribing drugs to our son without consulting us? Did you even talk to a psychopharmacologist to see if Matt could be a suicide risk? Stop being hysterical. Matt isn't going to kill himself. Well, how do you know? Because he's my son. Oh. Look, Julia agrees with me that depression and anxiety drugs are not the goddamn answer. Will you please stop speaking for me? Look, Sean, truth be told, we've made some very poor choices lately. We've not been ourselves. Maybe Christian has some perspective that we don't. Well, it doesn't take perspective to prescribe a happy pill. But it takes perspective to send Matt to military school and risk killing everything that is gentle and kind about him. Look, when was the last time the three of us were in the same room talking to Matt instead of about him? Now... We need to stop fighting about the right to parent him and start taking advantage of the fact that we all three love him. What are you proposing? Let him take the pills while being monitored by a professional. You know, but before we even do that, the three of us should get together and talk this through like a family. Works for me. <laughs>